The Prince of Wales kicked off the second day of his Northumberland visit in style, with a martini as he turned a moorland gin distillery. Charles was served a neat gin shortly after 11 a.m., to give him a clear taste of the award-winning spirit, and was then handed the cocktail by Sir Walter Riddle's estate in Heppel, Cokeydale, Northumberland. The prince had ventured out in early autumn showers, and onto the moor to plant a small juniper bush, before tasting the product at the small distillery close to Sir Walter's house. The native conifers, grown a few minutes walk away from the distillery, provide the gin with its distinctive taste, as well as locally grown botanicals. Charles drank the martini, stirred, not shaken, made for him by Sir Walter, who also handed one to the Duchess of Northumberland, who was accompanying the prince on his visit. The Moreland Spirit Company's Heppel Gin retails, for £38 a bottle, and won a gold medal at the San Francisco Spirits Awards. On Wednesday, the Prince of Wales was welcomed by a Northumbrian piper, as he started his series of engagements in the Northeast. He kicked off his two-day visit at the Sill, a National Landscape Discovery Center, where he was told about the range of learning and research activities carried out at the venue. He seemed impressed by the building's grass roof which has been built to mimic the shapes and geology of the Great Wind Sill, a natural rock feature, saying aha, look at that, before unveiling a plaque. Charles met local schoolchildren at the site, which is based in the heart of Hadrian's Wall and opened in July 2017, at a cost of £14.8 million. He could be heard jokingly asking the youngsters whether they were going to be given lunch, and he laughed when one enthusiastically nodded in reply to his question on whether they had learned something during their visits to the center. He and a teacher agreed that the children seemed well trained. Among the crowds was a baby holding a union flag, with Charles saying to him, Bedtime, rest time. Charles also met with staff from the Sills 86 Bed Youth Hostel, and discussing the running of the business with them. In his second engagement of the day, Charles met with market traders from the produced, in Northumberland scheme in Hexham. The prince then travelled to Kirk Harrell, the birthplace of heritage gardener Lancelot Capability Brown, in the early 18th century. Whilst there, he climbed up to a special viewing point in order to take in a lake, which has recently been restored to match Brown's original plans, before taking a stroll round the nearby gardens. He then met with members of the Upper Teesdale Agricultural Support Services Group, which helps address the needs of those living in rural isolation. In celebration of the group's 25th anniversary, Charles cut a cake baked by one of Upper Teesdale Agricultural Support Services' members, telling the assembled audience, I do hope you all get a bit. Later on Wednesday afternoon, he visited the Kielder Salmon Center and Hatchery, where a new visitor center is due to open this month. 